Evening. More than 300 people are feared dead after a huge mudslide engulfed workers at a mine in the south of Brazil. Rescue teams say there's little hope of finding more survivors. The miners were eating their lunch in a canteen when a dam built to retain millions of tons of mining waste gave way. While prosecutors have begun moves to freeze assets of the mining company Vale, our Brazil correspondent Julia Canheiro reports from Brumadinho. A trail of devastation, strong currents of thick mud swept through the rural mining community of Brumadinho, burying houses, vehicles, plantations and people. There were some lucky ones, like this woman, clearly exhausted and relieved to be alive. Authorities say now there's less hope of finding survivors. The desperation at this center, where families await any news of their loved ones, is unrelenting. This man's brother had started working at the mine only a month ago and is now among those missing. I don't think there is any hope. They will hardly be able to find any bodies there. Many won't have their children, parents, brothers to bury. That's the reality. The dam above the mine held back 10 million cubic meters of residue from previous iron ore extraction. It collapsed as hundreds of workers of mining giant Vali were having lunch in the cafeteria. This used to be a river and there used to be a bridge there, but everything has been engulfed by the sea of sludge. The company says what caused the collapse is still unclear, but the damage is visible everywhere, as President Jair Bolsonaro could see for himself as he flew over the area. The government set up a crisis cabinet to respond. The tragedy comes just three years after another dam, operated by the same company in the same state, collapsed, killing 19 people. It was the worst environmental disaster in Brazilian history. With Brumadinho's Paraupeba River now engulfed in mining waste and hundreds of families in mourning, city residents and the whole country are asking how this was allowed to happen again. Julia Carneiro, BBC News, Brumadinho, Brazil.